move on. You have a Bible. Listen, listen. You have a Bible full of prophecies about the day in which we live. You have a Holy Quran full of prophecies about the day in which we live. We have the sayings of the prophets about the day in which we live. Things are happening that are so awe-inspiring. So in the Quran, in the 22nd chapter called Al-Hajj, the pilgrimage, it reads, in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, O people, keep your duty to your Lord. Surely, the shock of the hour is a grievous thing. The day you see it, wait just a minute, it is a reflexive pronoun. It is reflecting back on something. But what is the something? Surely the shock of the hour is a grievous thing. The day you see it. Every woman giving suck will forget her suckling. Well, that's poetic language, meaning every woman nursing a baby is going to forget the baby that she's nursing. Now that's got to be a heck of a thing that you're going to see. A, a mother who is nursing a baby, it appears, can never forget her baby. The baby goes with her everywhere she goes because she's nursing that baby. But this shock of the hour will be so great every woman having a baby that she's nursing will forget about her baby. Yes, and every pregnant one will lay down her burden. That must be something. Yes, that you are having a baby. Second month, third month, fourth month, fifth month, sixth month. But when you see what you are about to see, it will be so grievous yes, that every woman who is pregnant, every animal that is pregnant, every bird that is pregnant, everything that is pregnant will lay down the burden. That's something. The Quran goes on. And you will see men as drunken, yet they will not be drunk. But the chastisement of Allah will be severe. China is already overpopulated and must expand. Japan, let's talk about a myth. The shock of the hour is coming. And you're smack dab in the middle of it. Nobody in this audience will get away. Nobody in Chicago, in New York, in LA, in Georgia, in Mississippi, you're not getting away. White or black, Hispanic, I don't care what your color is, you're not getting away from this. This is the hour all your madness is going to cease. You ain't got long. Japan, over 120 million people on the little island of Nippon. They don't have enough land to take care of their 120 and 
more million people and growing. Japan has to find areas in the world that she can help to cultivate, to feed her people. Her shipping trawlers are in the waters of every sea gathering fish to bring back to Japan. So much so that Japan's fishing trawlers are in constant conflict with nations that are saying that Japan is encroaching upon their waters. Korea, the Asian people are having an awful lot of babies. Taiwan used to be called Formosa. It just about populated that island. People looking for expansion. We need more territory. When you need more territory, then the weak take over are taken over by the strong. This is why Jesus prophesied wars and rumors of war and nation rising against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And this is just the beginning of sorrows. Then there will be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Then brother is going to deliver up brother. There will be all kinds of schemes and betrayals and in the family among the very people who are supposed to be working for the same cause. The enemy will be able to come in and buy one out and make him turn against the other. Buy a husband or a wife out and make him turn against the husband or the wife. Buy a brother out and make him turn against his family. This is the time that you're living in. Then the affection of the people will become strange. And the natural affection will be turned into something unnatural. And women will be lying down with women and men lying down with men working that which is unseemly. This is the time we're living in. It's not getting better, it's getting worse. It's leading to a conclusion. It's leading to the shock of the hour. 